This is an example of a surface collision where linear momentum is conserved. Uh, we have a two-dimensional problem since we can resolve the velocities in normal and tangential directions. So the basketball is coming in with the initial speed of 3 meters per second. Let's say this is the incoming velocity. It hits the hard floor and rebounds in some direction and has some final velocity as shown. If the incoming angle is 60 degrees and coefficient of restitution is 0.8, what is the expected velocity, both magnitude and the direction of the basketball after impact? That's what we're interested in. So what we can do is resolve the components of conservation of linear momentum which says, um, let's see, which says total linear momentum before impact equals to total linear momentum after collusion. Now, if I break this vector equation into two components in um, tangential direction, there is no external impulse, therefore incoming velocity in tangential direction I call it VT final must be equal to VT initial and this is what we are taking as positive direction therefore if I write the formula for the given numerical values both VT final and VT initial will be equal to 3 cosine of 60 which is one and a half meters per second however in tangential direction uh, since the uh, the impact is um, let's see what do I want to say here I lost train of my thought we can apply a coefficient of restitution in normal direction and use the definition of coefficient of restitution let's say this is positive e equals to minus velocity after impact divided by initial velocity of the ball so i can rewrite this equation as minus 0.8 minus 0.8 times if I cross multiply initial velocity is in normal direction is 3 and it is minus 3 uh, minus 3 times sine of 60 and that has to be equal to final velocity in normal direction taking a calculator and doing the numerical calculation we get final velocity in normal direction to be 2.08 meters per second so at this point we have the two components of velocity we can find both magnitude and the direction let this represent um, let this represent the velocity vector whose x and y components are known and I label this angle as unknown theta v final is to be found this is the normal component uh, I'm sorry that was the tangential component and this is normal component therefore final velocity has a magnitude of square root of one and a half squared plus 2.08 squared this gives a magnitude equal to 2.56 meters per second and theta is inverse tan of opposite over adjacent 2.08 divided by one and a half that gives an angle of 54.2 degrees